Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today um, some people were asking for some gameplay videos, and uh, so I thought I would do a really cool location in Deshaun, which is uh, world bosses, well, one world boss, one dolmen, and one um, delve. Uh, I'm in Deshaun, so you can get uh, Plague Doctor, and Mother's Sorrow, and I believe Night Mother's is another set. Not super popular, but Plague Doctor and uh, Mother Sorrow are definitely sought after sets. One's a tanking set and one's a crit set. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this boss right here. You can see the boss. You can see the uh, dolmen. And then you can see the delvers right here. So you just have like a consistent uh, way that you can keep working. Uh, this boss is also really great for if you wanted to start soloing bosses he's a great boss to start with not too mechanic heavy and um, he's doable before we start I'd like to ask everybody to please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell that's the best way you can support me is to get notified of my videos and I make a video every single day no matter what I have about 340 videos in my catalog so you can search my channel and you can find uh, videos just about every single topic in ESO. You can join me on Discord. There'll be a link in the description. The most chill Discord server on the planet. We've got about 73 people in there now with more and more coming all the time. And uh, it's a lot of fun. We have the Dwemer Automaton. You can search for different things ESO related. Puts up the news whenever there's a new news broadcast. Pledges. Lots of stuff. If anybody wants to donate to the channel, I have a PayPal link in the About section. Uh, it's not necessary. My content will always be free. But if anybody wants to help me out and donate, all donations are greatly appreciated. All right, let's get started. All right, so he's up. Let's do it. He's only got like a, probably two million health, so he's not one of your really, really hard world bosses. You gotta just keep kiting him. Kind of tank him a little bit, dodge roll when you can. Keep the shields up. He can swipe pretty hard though. Just if there's nobody here, you know, you can do this yourself. Attack the pet, which is always nice. The pet will stun him too. Keep up my shields. It's only got 925k left, so over half. We'll go quick now though once it gets there. Oh, I guess my pen is dead. Yes, no wonder. <laughs> That's what I was saying. It's like when you're just trying to um, DPS and he's chasing you, you know, that's where you have to practice because you know he's he's not going to just stand still for you. And then to use your abilities and be able to target him can, can be hard. Oh, 
for. It's a lot slower when you're by yourself. This, this guy is pissing you with this. People helping you, it's like... Just a base game boss. Simple. He'll drop some weapon. Which is nice. Whoa. That's it. Okay. Got gold. Take the soul gem. Take that. Oh, I'll take that. And then breaches of mother sorrow well fitted. Not bad. Now, what you want to do is you want to see is the dolmen up. And yes, it is. So we'll just ride over here. And I'll hit that. There's nobody even here. This will be super easy. Well, I don't know. Look at all of them just waiting. Looks like it's been up for a while. Oh, there's somebody here. I guess that guy was waiting. Dolmens aren't too hard. They're, um, I can remember when they were super hard though. <laughs> and not because of the difficulties changed, but just because I was at a lower level and I couldn't do them by myself. And you ask somebody for help and they say, oh, you need to get good. <laughs> Get good is really just a mean way to say practice. And it's going to be right here. I forged you in the soul fire of Cold Harbor to be back to you. Prove your worth. That's it, I'll drop my ultimate. He's dead. Hopefully I'll get some rings from here. It'd be great to get a purple ring or necklace of Mother Sorrow. Kind of doubt it, but we'll see. Here. the map. Ring of the Night Mother. So that's the other set that comes from here, and then now we're going to go to the Delve. The Delve is just right here on the corner. All I have to do is go this way and then jump over here. And it's right in here. Let's go inside. All right, so we're inside the Delve, and um, I'm just going to run past all these... Kogouti or Kogoodies, however you say it. And then they'll all chase me. Oh, there's a chest though. Sorry, y'all. We're gonna get to live. So these are going back. Like this. Just a simple chest. But, you never know. I'll take everything. Because I always do. I always take everything from chests. Run past this guy. That's just etiquette. You want to clean out all the chests because they won't respawn if you don't. And then, you know, you'll have like something in there, a staff or whatever the person didn't want. And then it's just not, not very nice. Okay, and they all went back. And this is the boss right here, Bone Tooth. And uh, the Sky Shard is right there. Little nub. Very easy. There's like a quest over there if you want it. Here comes somebody else. What you gotta do is just hit them once and then they'll go back. Um, we're just gonna wait for this guy to come up. It'll go super fast. I had done this area before when I was showing everybody the, um, um, like the, one of the festivals, I think it was for the skulls, the, uh, Hall um, witches festival. And it was, uh, you know, a way to farm it. 
get the skulls like very easily. Let's see what we get. Gold. Soul gem. Take that. I'll take the Rubido scraps. Boots of the Night Mother. It's all just RNG of whether or not you're going to get uh, some piece of Mother's Sorrow or whether you're going to get something else. It all just depends. You know, so <clears throat> this is a great way to farm uh, Mother Sorrow. It's very easy. You can just go between the three. They, you know, something will be up. Like when we go back, more than likely, um, the world boss will be up again. There'll probably be people over there, so you won't have to solo it. If you come in the more peak hours, there'll be more people. You know. I can do it, but the thing is, is that you can see it takes quite some time. The little boss inside here is a lot easier though, so it wouldn't take anywhere nearly the amount of time that it took for me to do the world boss. And you know, the dolmen is up again as you can see, and probably even the world boss is up again if we go over here and look, if nobody's killed him. Okay, he's dead. He didn't. He didn't respawn yet, but uh, that's, you know, just have to wait. Between those three, you don't really have to wait that much. Um, so if you want Mother Sorrow, a lot of people are using it. It's meta for a lot of stuff. You know, it's uh, it's quite good. And let's look at the Night Mother set, but let's get my easiest way is just to get out my, uh, my merchant. And so you can see I got those three. And then if you just keep doing it, you get more and more of that type of armor. So, Boots of the Night Mother. Two items adds 994 maximum stamina. Three items adds 117 weapon damage. Four items adds 117 stamina recovery. And five items adds 117 weapon damage. It also reduces the radius you can be detected while sneaking by two meters. And reduces the cost of sneak by 25%. I think there's better sets than that that do different, you know, things. But definitely... The breaches of um, Mother Sorrow. Most people want weapons and jewelry, which will drop from either uh, the world boss or even from the delve boss. But uh, breaches are good. Can probably sell them. Well fitted. Mm, not that great of a trade, but could probably sell them for 5000 I think uh, it's a good farm. You know, you get, you can get like Plague Doctor. You can get Mother Sorrow and... A lot of other stuff. That's the thing for me is that um, it has to be fun and me actually playing the game. The best way to make gold in the game, if you want to talk about efficiency and the most money, is just to farm Rubidite or farm the bears in Oradon to get the Drew Wax. You know, you get Rubido scraps and then you refine them and you get Drew Wax. Or to just pick up reagents. Walk around and pick up the plants on the ground, the alchemy reagents and sell them get a trade guild and sell them but to me that's just incredibly boring to like say okay i'm gonna spend two hours a day just running around doing that i don't want to do that i used to do it but i don't want to do it anymore and you know you have the dolmen and the world boss and you have the uh, del boss and you can just go in between there if you want to farm stuff or go someplace like elsewhere and, you know you can get motifs and then you can get like shimmering sand and you can kill the dragons and then it's a lot of fun so to say best is pretty subjective and to me it has to be fun or else I'm just not gonna enjoy it at all all right so that's about it for today so give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoy the content and please leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything that you'd like to see or you need help with anything I'll be glad to help you uh, you can hit me up on Xbox One. My name is Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-Y. If you want, you can join my guild. If you want to join my guild, all you need to do is add me as a friend and send me a message. Upper Echelon Mediocrity. We have 110 people with 14 people online. I was helping everybody today get the uh, leads for the mount, the Ebon Dwarven mount. A lot of fun. We run around every single day. The, uh, the event's going to start on the 3rd until the 15th which will be Imperial City, and we'll be running in there. So until that time, let's get paid.